Good evening and welcome to another video tea review from LaneySips.com. Tonight I'm reviewing a tea from Narian Teas, which is a small tea company out in Florida that was kind enough to send me some of their Silver Needle. Silver Needle is a very high-end white tea. That is a tea that has been very minimally processed. And Silver Needle is, is a tea that consists entirely of the buds of the tea plant. They've, as I said, been very minimally processed, so they have a nice silvery white down on each one of the buds. They're long and pointy, so they look like no, silver needles. This is a tea that, because of its price and just because of how, how rare it is, needs to be respected. So when you prepare this tea, I would say don't get the water any higher than 180 degrees and do infuse it in a glass teapot. The reason I want you to do that is because when the needles are being infused, they will eventually all stand on end and they'll actually be suspended from the top of the water. And it's great fun to look at this. It's just an absolutely beautiful thing. Now, there is some controversy in the tea community, community about how long you steep silver needle. Some will say one to two minutes at the most. Others will say as much as 15 minutes. What I recommend doing is, you know, make yourself a pot pour yourself some at one or two minutes and then say wait five seven minutes and then pour some more. Um, what you'll find is that the character of this tea does definitely develop and you kind of get yeah, two different types of tea out of one pot which given what you're paying for it is probably a really good thing. Now at one to two minutes you'll notice a couple of things. Um, first of all that the color will be very very light barely barely golden maybe a hint of green in there barely barely golden and the taste is going to be hard to describe because it's so subtle sometimes when people start drinking silver needle they'll say well this tastes like water they, they, they can't figure out what the big deal is keep sipping it keep sipping it you'll find some notes starting to emerge some sweet notes some very light vegetal notes maybe a little bit of butter lettuce in there a little bit of honeysuckle and as the tea continues to infuse and you have an infusion that's been say maybe around 10 minutes or so you're going to get far more intense notes um, mm. definitely sweeter maybe some endive in there um, but the honeysuckle definitely remains and it, it's really quite lovely the uh, dry nose incidentally is also interesting so I do encourage you to you know, get a snoot full of the dry leaves, um, which have kind of a, a dusty, sweet um, note to them as well. And this is a tea that you definitely want to infuse multiple times, uh, particularly on the second inf infusion. The needles are really standing on end, and that's really cool to watch. And there's a depth of flavor that begins to emerge from this tea, which starts out very, very subtle, but ends up becoming uh, probably closer in character to a high-quality green tea in the end really lovely really delicious and if you respect this tea and have it on its own it's too delicate in flavor to be served with food in fact I know of at least one tea room where they will not sell you any food um, if you are having silver needle or conversely if you have had have you have eaten already they won't sell you any silver needle for about an hour make sure your palate's clean uh, don't brush your teeth or be consuming wine alcohol or tobacco it's too subtle for that respect this tea prepare it well and I think you'll really enjoy it alright thank you to Noreen Tea at, for sending me this wonderful tea and thank you for watching Hope to do more of these for you. Take care.